the amazing beauty and function in the world and how it is that we have responded to fast growth and high population density with choices that are unnecessarily damaging. You know, we, we, we have real, real limits that we are coming up against with regard to um, habitat degradation and destruction and places where the population is just too dense um, to live as healthily as, as we would want. But there are almost always at least better solutions than the ones that we are engaging in. And, and you were bringing one of these up by suggesting um, that you know, for, for the vast majority of chickens that are not raised uh, with, call it integrity, uh, and, and more traditional, traditional methods, um, at least an alcohol dip rather than a chlorine dip, might do the trick. I actually, I don't know, and I don't know what else that would do to change the, the meat texture, flavor, lastingness, any of it. But it's at least well. I, I mean, I think this, I think this is biologically fairly clear, and I have no doubt that alcohol would be uh, more expensive and re- would require tending because, of course, the alcohol well, the chlorine might evaporate out too. But um, but this strikes me yeah. as a mirror for one of the most horrifying stories of industrial development that I've ever encountered, which my grandfather introduced me to. Um, I don't know. I was probably still in high school. Um, and it was the story of tetraethyl lead and how it ended up in gasoline, which is a real jaw dropper, right? And the the long and short of it is there was a perfectly viable alternative that wasn't patentable. Um, and so they patented tetraethyl lead. They, and its function in gasoline was? To prevent knocking and pinging. Mm-hmm. And knocking and pinging are basically explosions that are out of place and so end up over time distorting the engine. They basically release energy at an inappropriate moment in the compression stroke, and um, that is destructive of the engine. So none of us should want knocking and pinging. You know, it. Uh, it is an actual indicator of something that is potentially doing damage to doing your damage car. to the vehicle, mm-hmm. and is therefore environmentally ba- bad because it means that the engine and maybe the whole vehicle will have to be replaced sooner. So it it, it is an honest to goodness problem. But mm-hmm. tetraethyl lead is an appalling solution to it because, you know, the toxin in tetraethyl lead is lead. It's an element. It doesn't go anywhere in this combustion process. Mm-hmm. And so effectively Except they into the air where right. we breathe it in they and condemned. become dimmer as a result. Right. And you know, in places like Los Angeles where cars were everywhere and the mountains are shaped just so it's not like it blows away. So it accumulates in the atmosphere. And there's a credible line of thought that's suggest that this has a lot to do with the crime waves that we may have um, seen at various periods of history. And the fact that no one of any intelligence was produced in Los Angeles in the 1970s. Something like that. (laughs) (laughs) We barely avoided that one. But but yeah, it's it's an appalling uh, appalling story. And it involves Mm -hmm. all kinds of things like the delusions of the people who were um, uh, advancing this terrible solution who went to, you know, demonstrate that it was safe and there are terrible stories of people dying on the factory floor from mere contact with the stuff Oof. yeah it's it, it's it's an awful story but anyway the, the point is you have various kinds of solutions and then you have a series of perverse incentives you know mm-hmm. if alcohol is more expensive than uh, than bleach you know do we expect them to use it well not unless you force it and right. from a health perspective if the harm that comes to you from eating chickens that have been you know dipped in bleach uh, is delayed, then how the hell are you ever going to know that the tumor you had or the decrease in your IQ or whatever might befall you from that? Bleach is, is your stand-in for chlorine here. That's You're, you're saying bleach. Yeah. 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 Um, so in any case, uh, the point is the system is built so that you'll never catch up to the people who made this terrible decision on your behalf. In fact, I only learned today that anybody had made a decision like this on my behalf. And uh, anyway... We need to get better at this. Mm-hmm.